Hello and welcome to another NCCS video tutorial. Today we'll be going through part 2 of how to sketch on a curved surface. In the previous video we went through the simple process of creating a plane, referencing it and then performing the feature. This time we're going to examine a different curved surface and the two ways you can sketch onto it. The first method is identical to that shown in the previous video. Go to features, reference geometry, plane, you select your surface and your second reference will again be one of the default planes in SOLIDWORKS. The key difference here is that the selected surface is on an inclined plane, meaning that when you select a plane as your second reference, it will automatically position your created plane perpendicular, as it can't be created parallel. The second method is similar to that of the first. You select plane under reference geometry and this time as your first reference instead of selecting the face we are going to choose one of the default planes. Notice how when I select my plane as my first reference it automatically creates a copy 10 millimeters away from it. This offset distance function allows the user to determine how far it wants the copied plane to be from the original. In this case we are going to select 30 millimeters so that the created plane is positioned right at the edge of the base of the cone. A quick demonstration of what happens when you sketch and cut on the first example and a quick demonstration of what happens when you sketch and cut on the second example. That's all for today. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed.